Hey there guys, Bioinformatics guy here and welcome to another video of the series Machine Learning in Bioinformatics. In this video, we will be talking about the pre-processing of the data. So, what is pre-processing? Just like in the previous video, you have seen that the data on its own were not making any sense to us. So, we used the names file and created a CSV file and opened it in Excel to see what is this data trying to tell us. By the same token, the machine learning models cannot understand and they cannot process the data on its own. So we have to follow a few rules and we have to make that data understandable by that machine learning model. So pre-processing mostly includes removing the unwanted values, removing those values which are going to confuse the machine learning model and sometimes following the conventions is also a part of pre-processing. So let's get started. As you can see that this is the ID column and this the purpose of this ID column is just to recognize the sample. It is not adding the information to the definition of this class right over here. So we have to remove it before feeding it to our machine learning model. The next thing is the missing values. Most of the times in the data the missing values are represented by question marks or NAN. In this data, we can see that the missing values are represented by the question mark. So question mark is not a numeric value and if we will feed these, this data right, right away, the program is going to consider it as a string. So we have to change it to a numeric value. Most of the time, the missing values are converted into minus 999. So we have to change this question mark to minus 999, all the question marks in the data. So next thing is more of a convention. So it's not compulsory to do this but it's a good idea to follow that. You can see that in this class column there are only twos and fours. We have also read this in the names file in the last video. It was written over there that two, is, two represents the benign and four represents the malignant tumors. This is a binary data. There are only two conditions like the tumor is either benign or it's malignant. The convention of the binary data is that it is supposed to be in zeros and ones. So we will change this 2 to 0 and 4 to 1. So then the 0 will be representing benign and 4 will be representing malignant. So let's start writing our code. Now we can directly read our CSV file that we created in the last video. So we will comment this out. And reading the file is similar. So we just have to change the name of the file over here data.csv so we have imported our file now we have to drop the id column uh, if you want to see how data looks in python you can write print data dot head uh, rather than printing the whole data data dot head just prints a few of the columns and it just gives the rough idea of the data how the data looks so let's run this and see how it looks. So as you can see that there are 5 rows and 11 columns and ID column is included right now. So we have to remove this ID column. And removing the ID column is also very simple. Data dot drop. We are going to drop a column. Now we have to mention the name of our column which is ID. Since we don't want to replace it with any other thing so we will keep in place equals to true since we want to remove a column so we we have to specify that access equals to one so this is going to drop the id column now let's print it after the id column is dropped you can see uh, that the id column is dropped and now there are only 10 columns now we have to replace the missing values okay and in order to replace the missing values, we, uh, there is a replace function. So data dot replace. Now we have to tell this function what, uh, what do we want to replace. So we want to replace question marks with minus 99999, nine, 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 five nines. And we also don't want to, um, uh, we also don't want to replace it with anything. So we will keep in place equals to true. 
So this line of code we will change the missing values. Now the next thing is we have to change the fours in this class to one and the twos into zero. So we will be using the map function and the map functions requires another functions to follow. So we will have to define our function which will return one if the value is four and zero if the value is two. Today we are going to learn how to define a function in Python. So def this is the keyword to define a function and next is uh, the name of the function return bin binary and in the parenthesis we have to mention the arguments or the inputs that we are going to give to the function. So we will check that if x equals to 4 return 1 else return 0 all right so we have created our function the next thing is to use this function so we have to use this function or this on this class column so we will write down data in the parenthesis we will write the name of the uh, name of our column class and next dot now we are going to use the map function map and in the parenthesis we have to write down the name of the function that we just defined return bin. So let's run this code and see if the class is now in the binary. Oh there is an error. Oh so the T is supposed to be capital. We also have to write the print statement again. Data dot head all right so now you can see that all the twos are changed to zero and the four is changed to one so that's all we are going to do but i also want to share a trick with you you can see that we have to write down four to five lines of code to change the classes to ones and zeros L let me tell you that you can do the same thing in just one line you can do that by using the lambda function. Lambda is an anonymous function and it is only created when it's needed. We are going to use the same line. So we just have to define our lambda function over here. So L A M B D A lambda and this is our input. So it will return one if x equals to four else zero. So this, these five lines and this last line is going to do the same thing. Let's print the header again. You can see that we got the same result. So this is the very basic kind of data. There are only two classes. So that's all the pre-processing we are going to need for this data. So that's all for today. In the next video, we will be talking about defining the features and the label. Do subscribe if you haven't already so that you don't miss my videos. I will see you around in my next videos.